reached finals. Uh, yeah. So we're in best of five now. Yeah, and they're also guaranteed third, each one of these guys. Yep. No matter what, they could sandbag and DQ themselves basically, and they'd still be guaranteed third. But you know, they're not going to do that because. Right, no, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Stan versus Raven. Both of these players do not want to lose here. No. So, but some one of them has to, so we'll see who it is. I'm trying to remember, I believe Dan has won the last meeting of. Or no, not Dan. Was it Raven King that won the last meeting between these two? I. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I feel like it was the last ignition, but I could be wrong. Could be very, very wrong. I have been. I um, I don't keep a huge follow on who's beaten who in the scene. Uh, I think that's one of my weaknesses as a commentator, perhaps. But right. No. I mean, I don't follow it extremely, but I do like to keep up a little bit, especially as we're getting closer to the end of the PR season here. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Raven. I think his goal here is basically the same as. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That was clean. That'll take it. Um, same as Sweaty Wellman's is, was in the previous set, except that he has a lot better setups, but a significantly more punishable... Great patience there from Raven. That was very scary. But yeah, the fact that that was so scary just displays how uh, abusable his disadvantage state is oftentimes. Right. Not as bad as Krom's, but still, if... Oh god, if Dan had that charge there, Raven would have died. Because he would you know he would have sprayed Oh yeah, no, he would just him send him flying. Yeah. Classic in the uh, in the PT matchup actually against Krom and Ike is the Squirtle Water Gun. Oh yeah, the throw. Up. <laughs> yeah, they're just charging the neutral B. And just oh, he just ran up and did it. Great, good fair. Yeah, <laughs> great, great fair. Surprised he managed to just like sneak that in, but I guess it makes sense because Raven was in a pretty bad spot, so he didn't. He had pretty limited options there. Right now. Oh, the jab lock. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's very interesting. Um. I don't think Dan was ready for it because he just no. got one jab off and then didn't do much with it. Oh, definitely not. I think he was just as surprised that he got that fallen. Maybe wanted to like push him off and like kind of have him like not, not you know not the tech situation, but the situation where you're like you're hovering above the ground so you don't have time to throw out an aerial, so you just kind of have to land and shield. Yeah, I, yeah. It looked like he was just trying to trying to auto cancel the dare. Oh my God, Raven King, you're you're a monster. Just converting off of anything, any tiny opening from Dan, and all of a sudden we, he's just dead. Like he loses his stock. Ooh. Dan trying to show uh, Raven King his own uh, ladder magic. Yeah, but oh, that was I would have done the exact same thing Raven did there. But Dan sneaking, sneaking out of that downbeat charge and getting that soft nair. But it doesn't seem to matter because Raven's just pushing him back in the corner. He's just waiting on him. Of course, Good. so is Dan. So yeah, I mean, great up smash. I think that just came from uh, expenditure of options in the air and then having to land basically. Yeah. But it's all of a sudden looking significantly more even than it was before. Right, no, I think it's uh, it's close. They seem to be going back and forth, just laddering each other. Dude, damn oh, 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 this ain't Smash 4. <laughs> no, I, we wish. No Rage Up Bees today. Oh, sneaky stuff. I think Raven, if he gets in there underneath the platform, he might just take the entire game. Right, no. I think Dan's uh, looking out for it, yes. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Is Mario's up uh, uh, up smash head still invincible in yes, this game? I believe so. Okay, that'll uh, that'll that'll dampen your time if you're trying to land against him. Right. No, it's the it's quite it's the quintessential uh, perfect anti air. Yeah. I, I mean, as far as anti airs go, it's it's definitely up there. Got some invulnerability. In looking like a, a traditional fighter anti air, like Guilty Gear Street Fighter style, like invuln on your up moves that has massive range and kills. Oh my god. So here's a question. Yeah. Do you think Mario's uh, head is intangible on Up Smash because he's been banging his head against bricks for so many years? Um, do you think that was a, the canon reason behind Up Smash? Yes, yes, I believe it. Is that the canon reason? I'm, I'm gonna go with that. That's my head can. Mick confirmed. Sweet. <laughs> okay, well, it's fact now, guys. I mean, Mick says it's true, so I mean, it's basically just. I mean, right. might, how can you argue with Mick? I mean, Sakurai might have just said it himself. There, might as well. Yep. But yeah, uh, Dan off to a great start this game, and I think uh, that's a little bit interesting considering this is Ra Raven's counterpick. Speaking of, considering this is Raven's counterpick, why do you think he took him to FD? Doesn't Ike usually like platforms? Uh, I think he does, but I think the so does uh, Mario. That's so fair. I think Dan will get more out of the platforms if he's on uh, triplat. So I think Raven King's smart here in uh, picking FD. Plus, I think Ike has a sword. That's he fair. can just outrange him, and there's no platforms for uh, Dan to move around with. Yeah. So. Or you could just, you know, fall into up smash. Yep, th that'll happen. I mean, I, I think that's just... Oh, that was clutch. Great, great early up B. Yep. I think Raven was definitely not ready. He was thinking that he would take the much safer, potentially, option of sneaking towards that ledge. But right. Yeah, Dan, Dan with the call out. And it's saved him a stock, basically. 
Yes. Oh, missing the punish on the up smash, though. But doesn't matter, because he's just still going to up air chain him. It's a lot of percent. It's, it's such an abusive thing, just laddering your opponent. You can pretty much keep them uh, hovering in the air forever. Yeah, it feels like that way. Oh! He looking. Can he was... Oh. Oh, no. oh, that was scary. <laughs> oh. He managed to pull him off the ledge, too, because he was going to snap to the ledge there. Right, yeah. See, perfect time because he's Raven King, you know, he doesn't mess up like that. Right. But Dan forced him up onto the stage with the water gum, but it wasn't fast enough to no, uh, yeah. let him punish it. He's... Good cancel to the grab. Is that oh. it? Yeah. yeah. Great stuff by Dan. Fireball, water. It's a classic. Oh, uh, it's so tough to deal with. Like, what do you do as, as Ike? Not much. I mean, linear recovery is always going to have to deal with that. The fireball just falls perfectly off ledge, and then after that, once you're just rising with uh, your up it's easy to get sprayed. Yeah, but despite this being Raven's counter pick, Dan seems to still be just getting all the damage he wants on him. And like you were mentioning earlier, his punish game is just on point tonight. Right, yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm not counting Raven King out right now, but assuming this does go out, do you think he goes back to FD again and tries it? Or... I think... I think, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Raven would do. I don't know what I would do in this situation even, so I'm not sure. All right. I think he might try and switch it up just because this game is looking like worse for him than the previous one was. It might be a good idea to just take a change of pace. Yeah, but maybe. we can't count on it yet. I mean, he's Raven King, right? We might get to see that that uh, that uh comeback aspect we were talking about earlier. We might see his Belmont. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, potentially. If he really feels like his Ike is not cutting the, not cutting it. But yeah, that uh, classic uh, pivot up smash, turn around up smash. It's so good, and it's so much easier in this game too, because oh. you can pretty much uh, you can pretty much you can easily uh, pivot cancel into up smash. You don't have to do any jump inputs or anything. Good side, be good patience there by Raven King, and I think good ability to recognize that the water was not going to hit him. So side being was not a bad option. But yeah, that'll that'll take it. And Dan is looking confident. I'd say. He's he's just throwing out F smashes and things like that, and it's working for him. Right. No, it's actually... It's inter it's nice to see Dan uh, playing super well. I know the past couple weeks he's been having a little uh, harder time in bracket. Uh, yeah. So it's nice seeing Dan uh, in top peak, uh, top peak physical condition. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah, I mean... Terminology. If you could... I, I would say it's accurate. Dan seems to really be at the top of his game tonight, and I think it's 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 really showing here in this set. He's He's on point. So Town and City, what do you think about this? Um, I believe it, and I think it might be a better option just because it limits Mario's ability to, to like chain you up the stage without removing Ike's ability to get kills. Right. Um, especially since I don't think Mario, um, Mario's probably not going to be getting any uh, any sneaky kills here in terms of his ability to like chain people up and then help beat them off the top because he can still do that in this game. Right. However. Um, those side platforms, did you know, those side platforms are actually, for some characters, like, the highest up platforms and close to the blast zone in terms of kill confirms. Like, Charizard, for example, will kill earliest with his up throw on those platforms specifically. Like, earlier than any other stage. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Those, uh, the side platforms on the first one specifically. But, yeah. Oh, good, good, uh, turnaround there by Dan. He's now definitely, he's just sitting in middle stage and he's happy to sit there as long as he likes. Because yep. He knows he can just keep charging that neutral B, and eventually things will work out for him. Yeah, no. Raven King's just content with sitting there. Oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and that is why you sit there, because eventually your opponent will run in and they both, will die. Yeah, both players laughing there, uh, recognizing the silliness of the situation. A little callback to, like, Axe versus Mewtwo King in Melee, but... Yeah. Oh, those are great fights. Oh. I, I was not ready for that f tilt, but Dan was, because he shielded it, so... Oh, the fireball almost bouncing into the side, but that would have been sick. Oh. That would have been scary. It's just quick flood and you're dead at that point. Yeah, but there, there's there's the classic Ike up be out of shield. It's like frame nine. It does 20 damage. And that's super armor. It's really so good. It's really good. Yeah, it's great. I love Ike, it. Ike's kind of, Ike's pretty good this game, turns out. Yeah. So, here's, um, That'll something. seal it. Sorry, so, continue. I was going to say, uh, something interesting I just saw. I think Raven King tilted his F tilt. So, I, I don't know about you, but I find it so interesting seeing how many uh, characters have different, like, Tilting up tilts. Angles, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think it's really interesting because for some characters, it actually does change. Not only does it change the hitbox, it changes the properties of the move. Right. Like, Shulk's uh, tilted F smash in Smash 4 was just better than his normal F smash. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of them came out a frame earlier and did slightly more damage, and the other one came out same frame but did, like, significantly more damage. Right, yeah. 
I think they have more range too than like the traditional one, right? Um, not straight forwards, but they did have like the tilted range, so it was good. Okay. And for a lot of F tilts as well, um, you'll see, because um, F tilts typically those kind of like the kicking F tilts where they like stand on one leg, oftentimes have tipper hitboxes that give you a little bit more damage and a little bit more stage control. And tilting it can actually let you hit that tipper even when they're not in the range of the normal tipper. But great F smash there, and all of a sudden we're seeing an even game. That was such a beautiful little uh, string of sour spots into F smash. Really good stuff from Dan. Yeah, Dan seems to be really optimizing his combo game. He's just sitting there, getting grabs, doing whatever he wants, and whatever he can to Raven, and then punishing him with his escape options, too. Like, this was 0 0, now it's 9 to 93. And all of a sudden, Raven's off stage, and he does not want it. That's not a position he wants to be in against Mario. No, yeah, Dan has been rocking Raven Team's uh, last two stocks. Yeah, but all of a sudden, it's almost even. I don't oh. know, this looks pretty scary. Oh my god. Oh my oh. god. Sneaking in there, managed to take it, but all of a sudden, Dan could die here. Oh, early up again. Oh, that. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, he was definitely looking for the parry there, I'm almost certain. But yeah. then Raven King mixed up his timing really well. Right. Very good uh, clutch factor from Raven King. Yeah, making that comeback. So He's down, down like 100% to zero, and all of a sudden he wins the game. That's right. that's the Raven. So here it is. It's uh, game five. Where? Okay, oh, PS1. Here yeah. Go. I think Dan was definitely happy with his performance game one, uh, and he will. he would not be unhappy to go back to PS1, I'm just surprised, because Game 1 was on PS1, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just a little bit surprised that Raven let him go back. I guess he's okay with it, but like, oh wait, no, 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 it's MDSR, right. Right, yeah. So, yeah, never mind. Okay, my bad. So Raven didn't let him go back because he had to, uh, he, can't, he can't just uh, decide the gentleman to it. Right, yeah. Yeah. We're seeing um, a lot of these grabs from Dan. I mean, I know it's Mario, but oh, that was scary. Yep. Yeah, of course, the uh, untackable spikes always set up for uh, scary situations. I think that one was tackable because he was in the air, right? No, all spikes are, you can't tackle the ground. I you, thought it was, if you were on, standing on the ground, you couldn't tackle, but you can tackle when you're in the air and get hit to the ground. I thought it was just untackable. Oh, I'm go. pretty sure you can't, I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to ask someone. Maybe. I know you can tackle, like, the wall of a spike, because right. you can just, de you can uh, smash, or, yeah, just DI the spike and then uh, tackle the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes I don't it, know. Makes the grand thing blow up. A little awkward. <laughs> I have to ask someone. I'm not 100% certain. But anyway, um, Dan, Dan looking looking pretty good here, but he's, you always gotta be scared of Ike here because I, I'm pretty sure Nair to up air will just kill because of like, right. the percentage and rage. Right, no, I think Raven King knows that. <gasps> oh, oh my King. gosh, he's playing the game of chicken there. I think if he had held it like another like half, like not even a half second, that yeah. would have broken his shield. Oh yeah, no. I think Raven King was fearful of rolling because he thought he would get hit. Because I mean, Dan's good. I think he was expecting Dan to just hit that timing as soon as he rolled, so. Good, good, just shield push. Super scary. I think I think Dan has a Raven in a spot where he's definitely respecting his options. Perhaps a little bit too much, because he's just sitting here with a shield. Right, no, I think both players are playing very patient. I think Raven King is, like you said, sitting in shield a little too much, and he's lost the stock for that. Yeah, um, it happens, though. I mean, how can you not respect Dan's options, you know what I mean? It's right. Dan. Well, I mean, yeah. I, don't you hate the, I hate the situation where... Uh, you, you run into a scary situation, you get out of it, but now your your mentality is just a little cracked because mm -hmm. you feel now you're a little conditioned about yeah, shielding. Exactly. And the next time you're in the situation, like you, you tell yourself like, oh, don't shield next time because they're expecting. But then you right. do it anyway because yeah. you're scared. And I don't know. Smash right. is hard. Is that gonna? No, okay. Yeah, no, I uh, I have a very skewed perception of when that kills apparently because I wasn't even close to killing. Right. Well, I mean, PS1 is. Oh, uh, it's not that it has a higher ceiling, but compared to PS2, I believe it, the platform's a little lower, so... Yeah, I mean, PS1 has, like, it's like a normal ceiling. It's like an FD-style ceiling, but it's, yeah. you know, with platforms. FD oh. with platforms. Dan didn't mean to turn that around. I'm, uh, I feel bad. That oh, would well. have been significantly better for him had he not done that, but, you know, happens. Right, now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta grab that damage. Yeah, man, just get that uh, free 10%. Because now, now the back throw will kill. So Raven King starting his ladder here. Ooh, that's a okay, good. That's a really scary spot for Dan because he does, he does not want to give Raven the opportunity to get in a high percent and get that early kill with the rage. Right, no, that's always a scary thing. Like we said before, rage has not gone away. It is still a strong factor in this game. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something you want to be aware of, but you don't want to be hyper aware of. Oh, almost taking it. But you don't want to be hyper aware of it, I was saying, because if you're too antsy to get the kill, you will make dumb decisions. Uh, and you'll get you'll get caught out and you'll die. Yep. But 
Looking pretty good for Dan here. Raven's on last stock 100%, and Dan's still got a stock and a half left, basically. Right, now. Raven King's got to be very careful here. It's not even funny how close to death he is. Yeah, but, I mean, his uh, his legacy is, is coming back from these impossible situations, and oh, I, would, yeah. I wouldn't put it past him at all to come back from this one and take it. He's not just a Raven King, he's a Raven God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dan, yeah, Dan, if Dan gets another, like, five, that's got to be it. Yep. Good up smash. Great flood there though. That was he he hit him and he what he did was I think was really cool was that he angled the flood upwards so that as Raven King was being launched upwards in the side beat, the water kept following him and he got the full thing so he couldn't just right. he lost all of his forward momentum and he was forced to land right near the ledge. Right. And yeah. then 